Yo, it's your boy Wavy Fred, and we back here with another one. Today we have an emergency video. We have new leaks, new information, none of it confirmed by EA. I do want to let you know that in the beginning, before you even, you know, none of this has been confirmed by EA. And I always say we do not know anything until EA says something themselves, and they have not came out and said anything yet. Now, as of late, the sources have been you know pretty accurate or know something of what they're talking about but sometimes it'd be a little off so we don't know anything yet until ea comes out and say something they damn so i'm hoping they will because some of this news is damning to me but at, at the moment this is all we have so we will be getting into that next i won't hold you guys any longer let's get right into it we're gonna start off what i feel like is more most disappointing to me and from Mike Straw and other people, Reddit, whatever the case may be, they have said that mascot mashoff mashup will not will likely not be in the new college football game. Now, again, none of this have been confirmed by EA, so we have to take everything with a grain of salt. But I do think that's very fucked up because I don't I don't I don't have the analytics from the past games, but as far as I know with me and my friends and people that I know, mascot master was actually dope. Like, you know, you playing with mascots that's all ninety nine, everybody's ninety nine, everything like that. Like it was actually dope. It was pretty fun to do or whatever like that. But according to what they say, it has not been confirmed, but they said that it will likely not be in the game. Now, will that break the game? Again, like I said before, I do not believe that it will break the game, but I do think people will want the game because it is something that was in previous games. And like I said, we at least want what we know. We want everything that we know. And if they're taking something that we know that we play, that may do something to the game. Also, college game day will not be in this year's college football game. Now, I think that's kind of fucked up because of their, you've already said that it would be in the game. Um, I guess they didn't specify that it would be this game. I don't fucking know, whatever you may. But you already confirmed that college football game day would be a thing. So for you to kind of renege on that is kind of crazy. Now, again, like I said, none of these things are confirmed by EA. So we have to take everything with a grain of salt. But... If that's the case, I think that's actually fucked up because this was one of the most exciting parts. This is something that we was excited and, you know, getting ready for it. I was like one of the changes in the game that we hadn't had in, in previous years. So for you to talk about this, big this up, every all of the leaks are talking about this. All of the content creators are making videos about this and it not being a game is low key crazy. Now, again, will it make or break? Will it break the game? No, not at all. It will not. It's something that we all wanted, but it's not going to break the game. I think it will be one of those things like, God damn, it would have been dope to have this before the game and everything like that. But I don't think that it would break the game. I'm a little bummed out about it because, again, like I always say, appearance is everything. And y'all fucking up the appearance with that. Y'all put out a dope ass trailer. And if this is what you saying is the case, that kind of says fuck the trailer. Not fuck the trailer, but like, come on, my nigga. We low key, we really wanted that. Like we did want that. Now again, these are coming from Mike Straw's uh college football 25 stream he had. And uh a lot of this stuff is coming from different Reddit accounts. Like basically gathered up notes from all over the place so we will be going over the notes now um the first one says option offenses receive a ton of attention new animation received a ton of attention new animations tons of efficiency and speed could be op so that means all of all of the quick uh read option shit which already was op in the last game i guess whatever um i guess that will what I don't know if that will stand for yeah, RPO. That will stand for that too. All of that shit gonna be OP. So I think this is the part where people will be saying that it's just like Madden because they're creating a a game or gameplay that will become, let's say like 
repetitive like everybody will be doing the same thing op repetitive they know something works let's keep going to it if the triple option is cake every single time we're going to keep doing that shit until you're able to stop it which you're not going to be able to stop it because that's just how it was like even like in in ncaa 14 to stop a regular read option but you damn near have to send everybody or you had to no, you, you just really have to send everybody because if you take the running back, I'm going to just go with the quarterback. If you take the quarterback, then we going with the running back. And it's chicken every time. Every single play, it's a positive game. So that mean, that makes it a, a positive play. You will notice when you use a two-star against a five-star player, five-star players apparently feel different. So I guess that would feel like using a 70 overall compared to a 90 overall. I guess that only makes sense. Um, the way they put it makes perfect sense because you have to separate the talent. If you got a, a two-star player who's equivalent to maybe like a, a, a fucking 70 overall, 75 overall, and you got a, 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 a five-star player who's a guy who's probably projected to go high in the draft, of course it should be a difference. It should feel different. He should dominate him physically, emotionally spiritually all of that stuff it should be different so i'm not even bummed out about that that actually makes sense so hey that's not something that we should complain about again i'm going to keep saying none of this has yet to be confirmed by ea so we have to take everything with a grain of salt moving on wear and tear matters a lot in uh, uh, in longer games you'll be able to tell by how a player plays if he isn't receiving rest I guess that makes sense. That's obviously obvious. So, do you remember, e even in this year's Madden and last year's Madden, if you keep running your running back over and over again, you hit stick him and that guy's going to fumble. You 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 keep running somebody into the dirt, eventually, like in uh, franchise mode, if you keep running somebody into the dirt down the season, they're not going to have that much stamina. They're going to only play half of the game or whatever like that that was something that me and my friends experienced in our uh, franchise so that's another thing right there that only makes sense it's not something that people are going to be bummed out about of course if we want to make this thing real if we want to make this something enjoyable something uh like reality that's only something that should be implemented in the game now you are going to have those cheese heads that's like oh i want to do the same thing over and over and over and over i don't want him to get tired hey that's your fucking fault. We trying to play something real, not something that's animated. If you want to play something that's and not even animated, something that's not real, basically. If you want to go play some shit like that, alter the settings or whatever like that in your game, and you play like that. But next, online dynasty will not be crossplay this year. It is something that they want to do in the future. Obviously, we we knew that. We just talked about that in the previous uh the previous video so it's okay if they do it in the future that shit will be fucking dope because what that does is again you already have friends who are on these different platforms so if you're able to do play now with them that's already dope but if you're able to do these online franchises with them that would be fucking chef's kiss it would be fucking perfect like literally it would be perfect gameplay in co in the core dynasty experience was a big focus in this game that is something to be proud about, being that I'm a Dynasty player. I love Dynasty, uh, as well as Road to Glory, of course. But Dynasty is something that we play long term. That's something that we play with our friends, no diddy, um, etc. But it's actually dope to know that they're putting some thought into that. And it just really sounds, I really hate to say this because I made a rant about you guys, but it really sounds like the things that they were saying for Madden because it's like, they were saying they were putting their all into fantasy, I mean, into franchise, and franchise did improve, so that's a good sign for the dynasty part, but it's starting to sound familiar. It's like the fucking spun, uh, the Spider-Man meme, like, it's like, we looking at, I don't know, man, I don't fucking know. Next up, deep dives coming soon, possible this week. So that means that they will be giving us deep dives of information, hopefully from EA, not these type of guys, and don't get me wrong, we do appreciate your information because it keeps us going it keeps our thoughts alive our hopes alive and everything like that and it keeps us content creators being able to create content but i hope you're right and for certain things i hope you're wrong but we shall see
And I also just want to say shout out to QJB, man. If you haven't followed this channel already, go follow his channel. All of the background videos that you see from me comes from him. Amazing content. Amazing content. Moving on. Madden and College Football 25 will be on the same engine, which we knew already. But the developer, the developer have done a lot to make College Football 25 feel different than Madden. Another thing that we knew already. Hopefully it's true. It's a lot of things being said. And, and as far as the trailer, it does look different. I, I can't say that it doesn't. But we have to wait till we see it to confirm or deny. Um, but it's good to know. Moving on. Co College Football 25 will play much faster than Madden. I expect. I expect that college football is faster than actual pro sports. It moves fast. Well, some say that is is that's not the case. But in my opinion, from what I see with my eyes, I haven't been at these games and what I see versus these football games, these regular uh, NFL football games that I've seen. It does look like it's moving faster because there is a whole lot of different things going on. It's so many different routes, so many different patterns that's being that's going on in college. It's just a whole nother fucking atmosphere over there. But. Hey, I guess we will fucking see again. Many new animations for college football 25. Plenty of more. Plenty of new catch animations. We need that. We need that. So all of these notes are actually not even bad. Some of them are unfortunate, if you may ask me. But all of them are not bad. We need new animations. We need those because we do not want the same things that's in Madden. I mean, it's cool to have some. But we also want more. For example, in a trailer, it had to catch with the uh, one leg toe drag. Toe drag. That's dope. That's a different catch animation because that's something different than Madden. Again, all you got to do is be slightly better than Madden. And we going to be happy. Chef's kiss again. Possible that helmets could get knocked off. That would be fucking amazing. You telling me when I rock a nigga world, pause, that's crazy. You telling me when I rock a nigga world that he's helmet finna fly off? Bro, that's fucking crazy. Bro, we ain't had that shit in the game in so fucking long. And I don't even think we had it in NCAA. I think we had it in Madden like a little time ago. Again, shout out to the dude who put the last uh Madden uh NCAA 11 in the what's name or whatever the case may be. If you know that Madden, that... um. That you could knock people helmets off and shit. Put that shit in the chat. I mean, in the, um, in the in the comment section right now. I, I greatly appreciate you. But that's something that I'm saying. That's a great addition to the game. You telling me if you mm, nigga whole helmet, boy, that's gonna be amazing. I'm literally going for that every single time. Now, next, not a full uh ESPN license. Just the broadcasters like Kurt and Chris. No ESPN score book. Or scoreboard, whatever the fuck, whatever they meant, that would be cool too. I, I can't say we really care for all of the ESPN shit. It would just be a great addition to have real ESPN people and have real commentating. That's what we care for. Now, of course, it's more shit that's gonna come down the line in the next game and in the next game after that. That's cool. We understand that. You don't have to put. You don't have to make everything this year. It's okay if you don't. Just, you know, make sure you get to it in the later years. The easier schools will really be easy to play against if you are a bigger school, even on a harder difficulty. Except for, oh, they say example, Michigan versus Buffalo. No, duh. That's a, that's a, that's a no-brainer. But I do want them to implement... You know, one of those hungry teams, like, you know, when you when you when you go against it's always that one little weak team that come and knock down the big dogs. It's always one of those. And I want them to implement that. I want I don't know how, but I want them to try to implement that somehow. Make it to where one of the big one of them big old teams can get knocked down by one of those those trash D1 teams, like one of those teams that ain't usually beating nobody. Like, for example, a Buffalo versus a Michigan. Let one of those boys go knock them off. That will literally make the game dope because... Never mind. Moving on. No mode like the yard from Madden in college football 25. That's cool. We don't really care for that. I don't know how popular the yard is. Um, we have been asking for 7-on-7 in uh, college football for years. 
obviously we never get it y'all y'all ended up doing it in madden which is cool if that's something that they will implement down the line that's also cool i think that they can do it being that uh it's already in madden and you guys are on the same engine so that's cool um again something that won't break the game next uh, he he reiterates that this game will not become bare bones. It is treated like the founding building game. I don't even know what the fuck to say to that. Hopefully that means that. I mean, obviously I know what that means, but I hope what they really mean is that this is an important project and this is something to build upon. It won't be the, the best it won't be everything that we dreamed of as far as everything that we've asked for in, in, in all the years. But it will be something great as fuck to play and it will be better than Madden. I hope that's what that translated to off Spanish. Um, Dynasty and Road to Glory will be, have a ton of replay value. Something else I don't really care to comment on. Obviously, I hope that's true. If it's not, we will have fucking problems. Moving on. A lot of effort into how the offseason works in Dynasty. That's fucking chef's kiss. The offseason is just as important as the end season. You have recruiting. You have to make sure that your people go to your go to your school and don't flip on you. You have to make sure that you hit the transfer portal. You have to make sure that you got the uh the correct uh coaches in line. You have to make sure that training is correct. You have to make sure for a lot of things. So if they are making us um you know, work hard on that too. That would be actually fucking dope. Moving on. No BCS option for Dynasty playoff. For Dynasty playoff only. I ain't gonna comment on that because I don't really know what that means. I don't really care. I probably don't really play the playoff joint, but whatever. It is about becoming a huge star in Road to Glory. NIL plays a role in that mode. I mean, a role in that mode. I fucking like that. Like... They're making it real like they're making it real because in real life, when you end up being a five star in in today's day, you have all of these opportunities, all of these big brands coming to you willing to give you millions of dollars or a million or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Let's be real. Thousands of dollars for you to push whatever they're doing. They're willing to get to sponsor you with everything you want just so you can get everything you need and do whatever you want. And you have to know how to handle that you have to know how to handle that as a five-star athlete student athlete and a fucking what's the a public figure now you have to know how to deal with that so that'll be great again college game day not really in the game will be a pre-show but not really college game day okay so in the notes it's saying that basically we'll probably get that it just won't be everything that is in college game day in real life. So it'd be like a little slim shade of that, which is cool too. Again, presentation is everything. So if we can get something like it, I don't think that we'll complain too much about it. You know, um, custom playbooks. That's something that we knew already, which is dope. We've always, we have, we have custom playbooks in Madden. So I don't imagine them not having it. So that's cool. Recruiting is deeper. Pause. That was crazy. Um, just like I said for the off season, making sure that your guys don't flip on you. That's dope. That's something that needs to be implemented in the game. Taking the extra mile to make sure that you can go recruit with your guy. If you play a uh, FIFA or an FC, when you go to try to um, get a player, transfer a player to your team, you have to go sit in his office or go sit in the, the manager's office or in his living room, whatever the case may be. And you have to have that talk. Presentation is everything. So if you're going to transfer a player and you're going to take a home visit, they should show that. But that's uh, about appearance. Now, about uh, recruiting being deeper or a bigger thing, that's dope. That's dope. I really appreciate that because I'm like the type of person, me and my guys are the type of persons who really try to treat this like real life. You know, we guys that didn't make it, so we try to make it on the game. It is what we live for, you know. But moving on. Team builder is basic, but enough to keep for people to be happy. I don't feel about that. That's like a that's like y'all threw us a bone. It's like, eh, here, here. We ain't gonna give y'all no food. Here go a bone. Which is again, I think that's true. People will be happy with just having team builder. But again, hopefully this is something that they improve in the next year. A lot of stuff that they're giving us is a lot, so I, I won't really complain. I won't be too greedy, but hopefully it is something that they improve on in the next year. And that's cool for me. 
more detailed substitutions. I don't really care to, you know, whatever. I don't really care to comment on that. Thank you. We'll see what the hell that means sooner or later. Excuse me. A lot of different equipment compared to Madden. Now, that is something that's dope. If you've seen in the trailer, they have uh, Nike socks. They have different helmets that's not yet in Madden. You can uh, wear the long sleeve. Uh, I hope it's the. it, it looked like the long sleeve uh, baggy shirts. Hopefully, that's what it is. Um, you can wear the hoodies. You can wear that for sure. You can have the high knee, uh, high knee high um, pad level as far as your pants or whatever like that, plus more. And that's just that's something that's dope. That's something that we don't have in Madden. Things that we've asked for in Madden, we did not get in Madden. And more people do that in NCAA or in college football. Period. So it's actually dope that they made a thing to involve that in this game. Um, many different crowd reactions. Again, what I said in the in the. Uh, one of my previous videos, we seen how the crowd crowd was moving. And in college football, the crowd is intense. Everything is intense about the crowd in one of those stadiums that's like huge and shit like that. So that would be dope. Um, we have full gameplay footage early June. So that's next month. Again, I will say again, none of this has been confirmed by uh, EA, but that is something that I actually believe because I don't know, I guess the timeline just lines up, but we get in footage early June, according to him. Um, there will be a ticker at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, I guess I don't know what the ticker would be for. Maybe momentum. Maybe the crowd noise. I don't fucking know. We will fucking see though. Excuse all of the fuckings, but hey, he should have went into detail. First true current gen football game. Oh, okay. This is the first true current game. This is the first true gen. This is the first true current gen football game from EA. Ground up current gen. I guess. Well, whatever. I don't care about that. We'll come to PC in future releases. That's the shit I'm waiting for. I'm a PC player. I have both systems, but I would rather play everything on PC if I could. I don't give a fuck about this system shit. I like that I could play my game right here and be watching something over here. Be on Discord right here. I like all of that shit. You can't do a lot of multitasking on Xbox and PlayStation. So whenever they do bring it to PC, that would be great for me. Um, and lastly, it says blocking gameplay looked good. I think that's more of a comment than than information. But hey, I hope I hope that is true because blocking is actually very important in the game. A lot of people don't understand how much it is when you have two guard, a guard in the center pulling because you're finna go that way and they actually do it right. And then they go up to the next level and then the other guy get to the next level if 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 everything is go right to get to the uh to the safety or if they just get to the next level and get the linebackers and then you got a one on one with the safety double chef kiss whenever it actually happens like it's supposed to happen in real life. Things happen greatly. Now, that's all that we have for now. Um, obviously, when there is more leaks and all of that, you guys will hear them. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.